Hey everyone, Reed here. Today I'm going to walk you through a best practice of mine when it comes to applying measure-based conditional formatting to visualizations in Power BI. That practice is using field value rather than rule-based formatting for colors. This practice can significantly decrease development time, especially if you're using the same color logic on multiple visualizations. So let's hop into Power BI and get started. So the report in front of you has three colors assigned to it that you see across various visualizations. Green for high, yellow for medium, red for low. If I actually take a quick look at my data model, I actually do, in my sales table, have a column for performance that's already having the values assigned to it in here of either high, medium, or low. Now given that context here a little bit, what I've actually done, and we'll see how I built this in a second, I have a measure right here called KPI color code. And what that does is this is actually dictating all of the colors on my page across all of these visualizations. So I've gone ahead and simply done a selected value function on performance right here. And if performance equals high, that's the hex color for green, medium equals yellow, and low equals red. Now, if you take a look here, watch on the screen. So notice the green is this color right now. If I was to come into here and let's just say change this just a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and change that to a one. Notice that all of the greens across my cards at the top, all of these things here, this visual over here, the one on the lower left, even the performance in here, all this conditional formatting changed that color because they're all using the same field value um, when the conditional formatting is being applied to them. So I can change the location once for color and all of these things get updated. And I wanna show you why this is better than rule-based formatting um, here in just a second. So let me go ahead and just switch that back. There we go. Get that original green color that I like a bit more. And let's see how I did that. So I'm gonna come over here to this visual. And in this section here, if I go to format, what I have in data colors, you notice here with measure-based formatting, I have this little ellipses in the corner and conditional formatting right here. And what I've done is I've done format by field value. So what that means is that it retrieves the hexadecimal color from that measure instead of say, rule-based formatting, where I could actually go in and I could set up three rules for red, yellow, and green as much as I need to, given that here. But the problem is, is I now have to do that on every single visual if I needed to update the colors at all or add an additional step. So if I have that in a single measure, and instead of saying format by rules, I say format by field value, the only location that I have to update is that measure to specify whatever logic I want to do the formatting and returning the proper hex color. So it saves a lot of time if I'm reusing the same logic over and over and over again. So it's really useful as a developer. Uh, and it's one of the reasons that I consider it to be a best practice. And that exact same logic is applied at every one of these. In this visualization, same thing. Advanced controls has that field value applied. Um, in the actual table itself down here for the matrix table, if I go over to performance, conditional formatting and font color, which is what's colored down there, same thing, KPI color code. So in as many places as you can use measure-based formatting, you can rely on that one single DAX measure. And that about covers it for this video. So I hope you found this video useful. If you liked the video, please click or smash that like button below. If you have anything to say about this video or you have a suggestion for your future video, go ahead and add that down to the comment section. And if this is your first time into my channel or you wanna see more of these awesome videos, please click that subscribe and notification button. And otherwise, I will see you in my next video.